But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Let me tell you about my great God. Hey guys, Pastor Tim here. Hope you guys are ready to get your day started off in God's Word. We are on Genesis chapter 24, and we're kind of transitioning now from Abraham to his son Isaac. And one of the first things Abraham wants to make sure that happens with Isaac is that he finds a good wife. Now guys, this chapter is not only long, but it's filled with many great uh, spiritual lessons that we can get from it. So definitely if your guys' uh, main point from today is different than mine, that's that's more than a fine that's more than to be expected so um, I'm not gonna cover everything specifically but what we see here is Abraham wants to find a good wife uh, for Isaac but he knows he doesn't want his wife to come from the land of the Canaanites where they reside right now if you want that to be a spiritual picture it's it's the it's the same as saying uh, a child of God should not be seeking to uh, be married to uh, a lost sinner, someone of the world. All right, we see that in the Bible where it says, you know, be not unequally yoked uh, one with another. Okay, and so that's the same spiritual truth we see here. So he says, I want you to go back to my homeland, Ur of the Chaldees, and find a wife from my kindred, from my family. All right, the family of God, so to speak, if you want to see that picture continued. All right, but he does make it specific that he does not want. Uh, Isaac to go back to his homeland because Ur the Chaldees is still technically a pagan uh, place. Many of the people uh, worship false uh, idols and gods just like in the nations of the, the Canaanites, but he wanted to find a wife for him from his own family. So the servant goes out, the servant who is never named, all right, and a lot of people see the servant to be a picture of uh, of the Holy Spirit and also a picture of the servant of God as well, though, like uh, those that want to do God's will. Only thing this man is concerned with is his master and his master's will. Much like the only thing we should be concerned with when uh, living for God and seeking to glorify him with our lives is only being concerned with our father and our father's will, with God and what he's, his will is for our lives. So this servant goes out and that's the only thing he's focused on. I'm going to find uh, a wife for my master's son. All right, and we see some other things here where he says, you know, the angel of the Lord will go before you and he will make thy way prosperous. And, and we see this servant is a great picture of how we should be when we are serving Christ ourselves, being patient, uh, being prayer, uh, praying for God, uh, seeking to be in his will. Uh, in verse 27, he says, you know, him being in the way, the Lord led him uh, to eventually find Abraham's wife. All right, if we want to glorify God, uh, in our lives, we have to seek to be in God's will. If you're living like the world, if you're following the things that you know are opposed to God, don't expect God to lead you, all right, in his will. This servant, he heard Abraham's words, he heard his instructions, and he stuck with it, and God blessed him for that. Now, when we get to him finally meeting Rebecca, who is soon to be Isaac's wife, we see some amazing things happen here. He prays and asking God to show him who the woman should be and like immediately God allows it to happen. Uh, but definitely with Rebecca, we see her as a picture of, of the church and we also see her as a picture of uh, the lost sinner as well that is called to come into God's family. That's pretty much what's happening here. She's uh, being asked to come in and become a part of Abraham's family through Isaac, his son, all right? Jesus Christ the Son, we come to become part of God's family through putting our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, his son. So the servant comes with the words of his masters and, and he goes to Rebecca's family and he tells them, hey, this is the reason I came and I think this woman, uh, your daughter, will be a great uh, bride for my master's son. But she obviously gets to the point where she has to make a decision. All right, you know, is she going to stay home or is she going to go out by faith? She doesn't know what's out there. Uh, for her in the land of Canaan. She doesn't know what obstacles she's going to face eventually. So she is stepping out by faith simply on the words of Abraham that this master is telling them to become Isaac's bride. Much the same way when we accept Christ as our Savior as well. All right, We don't know all the trials and all the things that are going to ha unfold in our life as a child of God. All right, But we can either decide to uh, stay home, so to speak, or to put our faith in the words of God through whatever form that is, whether that's through the Bible, whether that's through the witness of a faithful servant of Christ, whether that's through preaching, whatever it is, 
we have to come to a point where we put our faith and trust in the words of God, of his gospel, of his gift of salvation, and trusting Christ as our Savior. And that's the picture we see here, and she does that. Now, my main point comes right after this. Like I said, there's many main points you guys can get from this chapter alone. You might have heard me mention one of yours thus far in going through uh, the context of this chapter. But my main point from this chapter is the, uh, the servant talked to uh, Lab and her brother and their family and stuff. Uh, when the decision was about to be made, uh, the servant, not the servant, Laban, he kind of says, you know, hey, why don't you let uh, Rebecca stay with us for just a couple more days, 10 days at least, and then we'll let her go with you back, or, or we'll not let her go with you, but then we'll let her go and meet you again in the land of the Canaanites and marry your master's son. All right, but the servant says, no, I'm not going to tell you why. Why halt me when the Lord has been so prosperous to me thus far? No, let's go now. And Rebecca, when given the decision whether to wait or to go, she decided, you know what? I'm going to go. Don't know what's out there for me, but I'm going to go. And I think that's a great thing. Many times the world uh, tries to advertise the lost sinners that, you know what? You can wait uh, when it comes to trusting Christ. You know, there's all these other things that you might want to do in your life beforehand. There's all these things that you, you should want to enjoy first because, you know, when you become a Christian, you can't do anything good. You can't do anything fun. You can't do anything pleasurable. You're going to have to give up all these things uh, in your life. And that's not what the Christian life's about. That's a whole nother lesson entirely. But the world likes to advertise that living for Christ is all about giving up things and you never get anything uh, in return. So they want you to wait before making a decision. Rebecca, she didn't want to wait, all right? And I think that's a great thing to get from this chapter, all right? If there's anyone listening to these videos or anyone, you know, struggling or whether or not they know Christ as their Savior, don't wait to get that settled today. Ask your pastor, ask your youth pastor, whoever it may be, and they can show you in the Bible today how you can know 100% sure that you are going to go to heaven one day when you die. Rebecca didn't wait, and you shouldn't wait either. Chapter ends, she goes back with the servant, and she ends up seeing... Uh, Isaac uh, over the, on the horizon and they come, they meet each other, uh, they get married, and then that's the end of the chapter. They live happily ever after. Kind of. There's some uh, turmoil and other things that we'll see uh, later on in their life, but we'll get to those chapters eventually. But that's all I got for today's chapter, guys. I hope you got a lot out of it. You know, I encourage you, read through it one more time. I know it's long, but there's a lot of great stuff in this chapter that you can get out of it. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless.